10,000 years ago, and we can measure oxygen isotopes in ice in Greenland and in the ice there because okay, there's ice that's been there. And it's still been there for, but this you know, we, we so have a good sense on, on, on how the change of our entire atmosphere has gone, and it used to be so much more sporadic. The ice age took place in five years. Think about 2015 to 2020, the ice age happening in that amount of time. And Absolutely horrifying. I know what they're talking about. <laughs> I know to see those warming. you love cripple in the cold. <laughs> yeah. The thought yeah. of it Enjoying is nothing it. but depressing. That's only your you perspective. Enough? It's only a perspective know. in general. All these things, as far as a paranormal experience goes, that seem like they're right there but not right there like and it's because they're throwing out these bursts joining. of energy you know so if you think about those people that get stuck it's in a like, sense of purgatory it's because their time here they are stuck in a sense of I'm energy sure cycle that they're never to the, progress to their the, higher the, self the, the, so the when you don't progress to your higher self here then your energy oh, no, will stay consistent in the other world but uh, that all becomes very indefinitive on coming back and there's a lot more theory into that but just generally when you go i think we just go to a place that we cannot actually perceive in any possible way but it's not I want this un to be a podcast. unrelative to our like, world. I just want to be able to play this. Oh, and I should go my, to bed oh, but I think my. I my head hurts way too I've much. I've got the main idea of it or so I believe but I will say with certainty that means your brain's becoming Bao bigger. has taken into a... I'm going to wake up tomorrow oh, and I'm going to be able to just You've taken just much detail in your brain and mind life. Oh, hold on follow me elsewhere my friend it is hard to hear my like, own thoughts. Who needs <sighs> There we are. My apologies, my friend. But surely you understand. It is hard to think when there are other thoughts being pushed in. But allow me to say, I believe I get the idea. Though this is quite indeed a handful. I take it you've taken great lengths into memorizing all of this information. Great lengths to memorize it? Not really, I just remember it all. I know a lot of shit. I dive into a lot so, of shit. May I ask? Uh, I, uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Do you believe there is some kind of hell or something if we no, do not? I don't believe in religion. Oh no, no they're no. speaking religion now. Oh no, okay, no I don't believe something about. I, I, don't, I don't believe in religion. Yeah. Or something that we should not um, speak no, of. yeah, religion. I don't. I don't take religion into any of this because religion has no evidence and nobody can ever say that it does because it doesn't no, I don't no. take that into this. I, but, I, 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 uh, but okay, I know what you're saying though. I know what you're trying to say. I know what you're trying to ask. And no, so. And the reason I'm then going to say no it? is because, you know, it, this goes back to the whole cycle of positive and negative things in the, the world, um, right? So, what happens whenever you move yourself possible. to a higher sense of consciousness, I don't know. a higher sense of self? They're trying to right? find out if hell You are is moving really towards against... a more positive side of yourself that you have to discover that our world strips away from us as we endure the cruel world that we live in, right? I think so, he's explaining in layman's terms that if you leave po the li a life positively, you go off as a positive energy entity into a more positive place. When you die and you're negative, you go to if a you, negative If place. you die a murderer and you die somebody that never was able to achieve a higher sense of where your energy sits, then what happens? Because you, you, you all have felt this, this being a... You feel the vibe around people, right? You feel the vibe talking to people. You already understand what the vibe is. And so someone can keep that negative vibe for their entire existence so what happens whenever their energy passes to another plane or dimension they're going to only resonate at a lower frequency which is why i would once again state the whole thing about paranormal activity and people getting stuck in purgatory as you would say is they're getting stuck in these cycles of of frequency and vibration but uh, I mean, and you could go back to the point of saying if you're going to take it to another level of like reincarnation being a thing and your energy being able to manifest itself into another humanly body for you to uptake another humanistic experience, then, but that's mainly, it's, there's a lot more theory on that than anything else, but there's no, there's no sense to say that you will be stuck in purgatory though, because that's not the whole point of you being an existent sense of energy. The point is for you to be able, especially in a spiritual sense, to turn yourself around at some point. Whether that's you having to live a thousand lives, or you figure it all out in this life, and then by the time that you die, you don't have to come back here and exist in any Shit, amount of a three-dimensional world. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with you. I want some answers. I want some so, fucking answers. I want all. I got on here happy, and now I'm so just what you were saying was my mind is heavy. I'm I'm kind of puzzled. If we were to like, let's say okay, at any time. We should be our better selves. Is, is, is that kind of what you're saying? It's basically saying like, you should be attempting to make yourself a better person, but only for yourself and not for anybody else, right? You should be trying to find yourself love, yourself peace, because I, at the end of the day, nobody wants to suffer. Nobody wants to be unhappy. You are already in a, a 
subconsciously regardless of how you feel are pushing towards a sense of not feeling pain whether that's getting away from it and distracting yourself whether that's crying yourself to sleep at night and fucking going head force into it whatever it might be you are wanting to get away from that the only way to truly get away from that is to expand yourself on self-love self-peace figuring out and understanding the world and understanding yourself to its entirety and there is more to understand about yourself rather than the ego or what makes up cumulatively what you would consider yourself as an individual. I have a lack Does that of make sense? individuality. That makes me an individual. I suppose. But you still, so you I would still, like to say you still are... always have traits that will make you an individual, though. What you want is your hair okay, color, you what you decide crazy, to speak sir. your name as, all that kind of stuff. That is still part of your ego. Oh Pardon me for interrupting, but I will say I absolutely love what you said on self-improvement. For it is true. Improve for thine self and not for others. Though others may be a good motivation, at the end of the day, your actions affect you the most, after all. What you put into the world will always come back to you, regardless of what you want to sit here and believe if you don't think karma is or isn't an actual thing. You think about the sequences of your life and think about how things have come back circle to you. Let's say you got out of school and you go to work a job and the guy that's the owner of that company or that's managing that's going to hire you is someone that you shit on in school. And they're probably just going to say, fuck you. Or they're going to throw you in and they're going to give you a bad fucking time with what you're doing, right? It's just like how there could be that one kid that you actually treated well in school that everyone else shit on. And then they end up becoming a fucking billion dollar CEO and they were, oh, hey, you're trying to come work for me? I got you. I got you. You never know how things, and that's just a broad example, but there's always those little things that pan out around you and you probably don't even realize it the things you do for some of your friends and how they might have come back to you but it's not about anything ever coming back to you because that's not the whole point you're just supposed to be a good person to exert the good energy and if it comes back then great but you shouldn't have any focus in trying to get a return in something because either way it'll come back around eventually it all goes back to that one saying what goes around comes around holy shit i was thinking that does that make me smart yeah. now i mean yes. good start good start um, and it's hard, you know, like you have to remember you're still a human you make mistakes You're not gonna be perfect. You're not going to know everything at the end of the day Regardless of how old we are. We're not gonna hardly know shit. I feel like even if I unlock the secrets of the universe I'm still gonna not know a goddamn thing about it Like I'm still gonna not know shit. So you just gotta Roll with the punches and not beat yourself up because you become your biggest bully over anybody else Regardless oh, of what anybody that. else says I didn't or be smart yeah. about that yeah, welcome to my TED Talk, Pockers. Apparently. <laughs> it's making me think so much. Oh, that's quite the opening. But, okay, so the thing is, is whenever you whenever you find understandings of the world, though, you can't... I saw a clown. You can't put your emotion to those things that you don't have control over. I can't see it. Are you right? scared of clowns? Because if you do, then you'll just suffer no. forever. And once again, it's oh, about getting away is. from suffering. So you have to remember that those things that you inertly can not change, can't do anything oh, about. You can't is. be like, damn, I ha I'm upset Choke about that. I'm sad about it. It's like, well, you are only digging yourself a grave. Well, what was I going to finish? Oh, okay, yeah, no, but don't. Apparently you're finishing your companions off. That's what you told us. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> understanding how shitty the world is, is is a good thing to understand, but don't let it fuck with you. Because you, you, you can't change it. Take I a go by the saying, merrily we roll along. Okay, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this on um, yeah. Follow me on Spotify and Apple Music because I make music poggers. <laughs> I'm just trying to eat. Oh, it's just my name above my head, by the way.